Hi everyone, for today's video, I will be using the Moment 58mm telephoto lens, such as this bad boy. So let's go into my five reasons as to why you should get a telephoto lens for smartphone filmmaking. Reason number one as to why you should get a telephoto lens for smartphone filmmaking is it gives you a much more narrow image to film with. That way you're getting rid of distractions from around your subject. So if you're making a narrative film, for example, like I do, you really want your audience's eyes to be on that character's emotions or a prop that's really important to the story. You don't want them looking at distractions that are around them, behind them, things that really aren't necessary to the story. So using a telephoto lens is a great way to keep your audience really focused where you want them to be focused on. A quick tip using the telephoto lens is sometimes it can be hard to focus on a very specific thing like these twigs here coming off of a tree. So if you want to make sure you get a nice sharp focus on them, you can use your live analytics by pressing A at the bottom left of Filmic Pro, pressing FP that's at the top of your analytics, and you're using that focus wheel to see where the green lines are to make sure you've got that sharp focus exactly where you want it to get the best and most professional looking image in your phone camera. Reason number two to get the telephoto lens for your smartphone filmmaking is it really increases that bokeh effect being the blurred effect behind your subject in the background which will make your subject pop from the background. So the Moment Telephoto lens has a focal length of 58 millimeters, which is double that of the standard wide lens on my iPhone 12 I'm using now, which is 26 millimeters. So it really increases that bokeh effect, which also makes it feel a bit more like you're using a DSLR camera. Obviously it's not gonna replicate exactly that kind of effect because it's got such a small sensor on a phone sensor, but it really does pop the image and your subject a lot more that gives you more of a DSLR look. This quick tip will really help you take advantage of using a tele lens to get unique shots. With a wide angle lens, you can get nice shots, of course, but with a telephoto lens, you can create shots that you just wouldn't normally be able to create. So for example, if you had a character that was maybe up by the windows here, you'd have them looking out, talking to another character, creating something that's really unique and really interesting. Now, the third reason to get yourself a telephoto lens for smartphone filmmaking is the fact that it gives you a much bigger sense of depth of field. Now, with the small sensors on the phone, a depth of field is a real big issue. So you either have to put things really close to the lens to create a shallow depth of field, or kind of just accept that you've got a flat image or a deep depth of field for a lot of the shots that you're gonna get. With a telephoto lens like this Moment 58 millimeter, it really does mimic that sort of DSLR look and it gives you a much better shallow depth of field, popping your subject right from the background into the camera lens and it feels a lot more professional. It feels like you're watching a proper movie or something that would be on TV. So get yourself a telephoto lens to increase that depth of field, which phones notoriously really, really struggle with. Now let me show you some images that really prove this point. As you see this comparison side by side, sometimes you might think it's a bit subtle, but overall, if you watch the whole film with one of these telephoto lenses versus a film without one, you'd really notice the difference and you'd really notice that shallow depth of field popping from the image into your lens. Now the difference to me is really, really clear here. You can see that I'm popping from the background like mad, even with the backlight of the sun here makes it look even better. With one of these telephoto lenses, it really does transform the way your image looks and it makes everything look a lot more professional, a lot more high budget, all just because you've added one lens. With this telephoto lens though, this is gonna completely transform the way I make films. I'm definitely gonna be using this in the next short film I'll be making in the next couple of months time. It really does make a big, big difference. Something to think about when it comes to moment lenses is that they are bayonet mounts only. So you'll need a moment case like this with the bayonet mount or something from Moondog Labs that can attach to a B-Script Pro. So my next reason to get a telephoto lens is, you can get really nice close-up shots of an actor, of your subject, whatever it is, without physically moving that camera close to the subject. There's a short film I made called Lucky the Dog where at the end I had to get really, really physically close with the camera to my actor's face, literally about that far away from the face. If I had a telephoto lens like this, I could be a foot, two foot away and still get a really identical image without having to get into his space and be distracting for the actor. So it's got a real advantage when you're making narrative films as well, or even filming people for interviews, because people do feel a little bit distracted and a bit vulnerable when a camera's right in their face. So if you have a telephoto lens, it allows you to keep that distance and keeps the person in front of the camera really, really comfortable. My next tip is that when it's a sunny day like this, using a standard wide angle lens on a phone and getting close to a subject, you end up getting shadows over your subject, which is really unprofessional and just doesn't look good. So use that telephoto lens, take a step back or two, and you can get really beautiful images and you don't have to worry about shadows covering areas of the subject you want the audience to see. The number five reason as to why you should get a telephoto lens for your smartphone filmmaking is that you don't lose any quality of image with using a telephoto lens compared to using a digital zoom with your phone. I would never ever recommend digitally zooming with your phone because the sensor is so small it can't handle the zoom in any way shape or form so as you see here using the controls to get a zoom into this building it creates a really rough distorted looking horrible image especially when you zoom into that whereas if you use a telephoto lens it gives you a nice clean image from corner to corner 
very little to no aberrations, no kind of vignetting on the corners of the screen at all like that or your lens. It looks beautiful, it looks stunning. It should do for $129.99 and it does really look fantastic. So you lose very little, if any, image quality with a telephoto lens compared to digitally zooming on your phone. So having got to grips now with a 58 millimeter telephoto lens, I can honestly say this is an absolute beauty. It should be for $129.99. It's definitely on the highest scale of the price that you pay for telephoto lenses but the quality is undeniable. You get a nice pouch with it, which is a drawstring pouch that keeps it safe. You get a nice lens cap as well for it. The only thing that I am not too keen on, if I show you here, is that this back part of the lens is completely exposed 24 seven. There's no back cap for that part of the lens. So moment, if you ever make new lenses, make sure you put a back cap to these. Otherwise it feels a bit nerve wracking holding that without any kind of cover on that. It's quite delicate. When you pay $129.99 for something like that, you really wanna make sure that you're getting the most protection on it as well. A nice kind of carrier case would be good for this. That's a bit more protected on the back. Something you can have a lot of fun with when it comes to telephoto lenses as well on your smartphone is you can create really enhanced automatic focus pulls with Filmic Pro because of that extra shallow depth of field and that extra bokeh effect, you can create something really amazing. Lastly, a few things to note with the telephoto lens by moment is that you do have to use it at a slight distance. If you're super close up to a subject, it's not gonna work, it's just gonna be blurred. So make sure you're about that one to two foot at least distance to get a really nice clean image. Secondly, you only want to use it on the standard wide lens. Don't use it on the ultra wide. And if you're using an iPhone 13, don't use it on the three times telephoto lens. As the Moment website says, it does actually create quite a distorted image. So use that over the wide lens as standard. And if you've got the iPhone 12, I believe you can use it on the two times tele lens on that as well. So you get a four times tele lens optical zoom. I do understand this may be out of some people's price range. So do your research. There will be lenses that are a lot cheaper on the market, over half the price of this and still pretty good. This, to my liking, to my knowledge, is the best one that's out. But if you're on a budget, there certainly are good ones that you can look at as well, other than the moment make. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.